Hey guys, this is MKC Electronics and I'm back with another unboxing video. Today I have here un to me unknown brand. It's uh, I don't know even if I read it correctly. Ions? Something like that. But it did look uh, good on the pictures. So I did go ahead and pur purchase that for one of my budget builds. I believe uh, it should be mid tower which is able to take full ATX motherboard and uh, down below uh, micro ATX and uh, ITX. Okay, so without further ado, let's unbox this thing. I already cut it open, but I didn't pick it out. And I can already see all the cheapo packaging. Sorry, that's sorry people, well, especially headphone users. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, I get static. <clears throat> why am I so scared of weights? Oh, I know why. Because it's pain. Yeah, that's. Most likely not happening with a more expensive case. Get static like this. But hey, better I get the static electric shock than my computer components. So, yeah, so let's take this thing off. Yeah, no more stuff like there. And uh, first thing we did the follow some folded. Paper. <coughs> oh, that's just invoice. Okay, so here is the model number. It says Ions KZ 10 WPC mid ATX gaming case, white ATX with tempered glass. Purchase was uh, twenty seven ninety five of Amazon. Okay, tempered glass. Looks like a four mil. It's a it's a black tone. Yeah, it's a it's smoked. So let's see from the front. So from the front, it's about the mesh design. What I was going for. And it's rattling. So either I can remove that. Or it's just poor. Poor belt. <clears throat> from back, one, two, three, seven. As always, bottom mounted. Uh, PSU that back you can for the back you can put 120 mil fan which is nothing for that this I have a I have a fans for this one so the top it's rather weird looking oh, if you can catch the detail but it's not see through it's it's have like a honeycomb cutouts strange Never seen that. Okay, let's see what is inside. If that is some something what I can remove. It doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay. White thumb screws. It's not the Nothing super solid, but will do if you're not planning to sit on it. Okay, come back. Power supply. Two. Okay. Let's see. Okay, two slots for drives, three and a half inch. On top, it's look like I can put the. Uh, <clears throat> Two and a half inches of Z. Get a bag with our screws and uh, some rubber mount mounts in that. In that thing. Let's take the temporary glass off. Yeah. I was thinking I can't get under my hands uh, one of these cheap cases, and uh, that would surprise me. But. Uh, this one actually does. It's surprisingly 
different with that top. I've never seen that on a show on any case. I've seen that as a design, I think. I forget the brand, but it was in one case. I've seen that, but it was inside. It wasn't on top, like an exhaust. Yeah. So, yeah, it's proper tempered glass. It's a, like a bl black tone, black tint. So, it will look alright. <coughs> uh, from this side, we have a pre installed some stand up. So, the as I said, it takes uh, ATX, so uh, now micro ATX, and now uh, uh, ITX uh, board. Okay, so this one is open, so we don't have a we don't have it blocked here. For the I/O, as usual, 3.0, 2.0, HD audio, and now power reset, and, and now hard drive and power button. Let's hit the I/O. Here, reset button. Headphones, microphone. That's it. Okay. So yeah, I can't actually remove this, it's just... You can see that. It's definitely interesting. Interesting design. I think it's just... It will catch very well the dust. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see the front panel. Because that was the selling point for me. Because I did one of the mesh front. Okay, that's no scoops now. Okay, pull on it. Yeah, it's not removable. So it's a lot link like this, so maybe I will just push it in more and <coughs> bend these down. Was better. <coughs> okay. So my original plan was put uh, three fans at the back, two fans on top, and one fan at the back. But now, when I'm seeing the honeycomb top, I don't know. We'll see. I will put them in, and we'll see how it will be. But uh, so. We have a cable management canal here, cable man management canal here. No rubber grommets, but the <coughs> canals are not sharp. I don't know what is this. Let's have a on the, on the bottom. Let's have a these places for the screws. Maybe it's for the... To put wall over here? But they didn't include nothing in the case. Maybe you can buy one? Okay, I don't know. So the hard drive cage is removable. That's good to see. I mean, you can actually remove it and uh, by the screw pattern, I can see I can put one SSD on the bottom. It's got a dust filter for the power supply. It's got these uh, weird looking feet. And that's about it. You get your cable management channel here, and that's about it. Cutout here, CPU power cutout here. Cutout for your for your CPU backplate. <coughs> here is some routing. Here, yeah. well, overall, for twenty-seven pounds. I think it's look good. I think it's look alright. We'll see how it how it will act when I will put the full system in. Yeah, but that's for the next video. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Uh, please uh, leave a comment, share, like, subscribe, and I see you in the next video.